welcome to the 1991 United Kingdom Dance Championships. And here's your host, Angela Rippon. gentlemen and a very warm welcome to the International Centre here in Bournemouth for this year's United Kingdom Dance Championships. Now we're going to be bringing you four programmes and this evening we're going to be concentrating on the contest to find the United Kingdom Amateur Latin Champions and that title could now go to any one of over a hundred couples who are representing 22 nations here. Well, they've all been dancing in preliminary rounds throughout the day. So uh, for an update on the competition so far, let's join my colleague, Charles Nove, who has with him the current world professional Latin champion, Donnie Burns. And in these rounds, Donnie and I will take a brief look at some of the promising couples tonight. Kenny McHackney and Beverly Reese, Donnie, couple number eight. They must be uh, among the favourites. Very talented boy again, Beverly's got a terrific look of Latin fire, but she's had problems in the feet and ankle department. I suppose it'll be interesting to see whether she's managed to overcome those difficulties. They should be the favourites for tonight's title, because last year's winners have turned professional. And they were second in the World Championship this year. Change of mood for the rumba, one of the five compulsory dances in this competition. And let's have a look at couple number 105, Mark Lunn and Karen Hardy. Yes, another relatively new partnership, Charles. They did very well at the first ch major championship, the International at the Albert Hall in October. And uh, I was critical of Mark before with his previous partner. I used to feel that he lacked some body tick and was basically line orientated, but he seems to be softer with this girl. And uh, they worked very hard at the practice sessions and I wish them all the best for the future. They could do quite well tonight. Another visit to the Paso Doble now and couple number 94, Darren Lucas and Lorna Dawson. Yes, they've had a good season in the last 12 months or so. They won the youth at Blackpool this year in May. Paso Doble is a very energy in-dance where none of it should always be dissipated out. I think what I was saying about energy in and energy out is the mistake they're making in this dance. You can see that it's very much the energy is dispersed out to the public, whereas a real matador is very concerned with the um, you know, pile of hamburgers heading in her direction. So he, he tends to very much focus on the bull and maintain so much tension within his own body. That's better what they're doing now, actually. Now, moving into the semi-final, in which these 12 couples are fighting for a place in the final six. The cha-cha-cha. And let's look at couple number 26 from Denmark, Soren Pilgaard and Marie Christensen. Yes, I think this girl is fabulous. She's got class. She's got an abstract style. She's a kind of art deco dancer, if you like. I'm glad to see they've got the break because of the girl's potential, really. The next dance, the rumba. Let's take a look at couple number 19, Chris Johnston and Daniela Dolan. They're a British partnership and a fairly new one as well, Donnie. Brand spanking new, Charles. They're just out of the box, actually, just unwrapped. They've been together only a couple of months and Chris has been a dancer of great caliber before with Nicola Cranshaw. They are representative of what's happened this evening, actually, with one or two exceptions of the reliables. There's a lot of young blood in this semi-final, a lot of brand new partnerships and a lot of promise for the future. There's couple number 52, John Burns and Jane Littleton. Well experienced, I know. Yes, they are. They're one of our top two British couples in the ratings. So they will represent Great Britain going abroad. At the closed British Championships at Blackpool in November, they had what people said was a sparkling performance, so it'll be interesting to see if they keep that newfound form this evening. And 
it's all action for the last of the five compulsory dances, the jive. And for six of these couples, this will be the last dance of what's been an extremely long day. creeping in at this stage. When you get tired, it's not the energy that goes, it's the control of the energy that goes. Yes, you start heading towards hysteria pitch, don't yeah, you? Yeah, right. semi-final and a chance to meet the youngest couple in this competition.